activate EBL and VRM via the display panel. The EBL VRM function can be enabled from the tools section in the display panel. Just select the respective buttons and they will be displayed in the chart area. Click on the desired position to set the value. A button is available in Tools, which is empty by default. This button is used to set the reference mode. To switch between the modes, click on it. The following options are available. Empty field sets the measurement starting point to the CCRP. D dropped fixes the measurement starting point at a selected position. Click in any position in the chart to set origin. To switch between true bearing and relative bearing mode, click on the azimuth of EBL button. It is displayed either with T or R respectively. The system also provides the option to change the units of distance by clicking on the nautical miles button. Adjust EBL and VRM To adjust EBL and VRM at the same time, click on the circled intersection of both lines and move the cursor to the desired position. Click again to confirm. To adjust them separately, click either on the line or circle. Then, click in any position to set the value. To delete any of them, click the respective buttons in the display panel. Activate EBL and VRM via the context menu. Right click on the chart area to access the context menu. There are two available options for activating the function CCRP EBL VRM option sets the base centered on the ship. The cross point is displayed on the cursor. Move the cursor and click at the desired position to fix it. Drop TBL VRM option offsets the base from the ship. Click on a position to set the EBL and VRM. and move the cursor to adjust it. Under the drop TBL VRM submenu, there are two more options. The move origin 1 and 2 are used to control the base point of the respective tools, which is displayed on the cursor. Move the cursor and click at the desired position to fix the base point. This system provides the option to set on EBL and VRM, either at the same time, one by one. Access main menu. Go to setting and select marker setting. Open the drop down menu and select either one step or two step 
based on your preference.